Welcome back to my YouTube channel. We're gonna have a little comfy and cozy nail day at home. As you can see, these nails, ooh, they're not looking cute. They're not looking cute. I've been doing my own nails at home for a couple of like months straight now. I haven't, I hadn't given them a break at all. And then I was like, let me relax, let me relax. And I gave them a break and I stopped doing them and they grew a little bit. We had a few warriors break, okay. I don't know if you can see, yeah. These are broken. But anyways, I don't like having plain nails. It's time to add some color into these nails, especially because it is officially spring. Like why not add fun little color? So that's what we're gonna do today. But my nail days at home are very extensive and long because I am doing my own nails, which means it takes a really long time. But I also love to make them super cozy and like comfy. I like to turn on the TV, have my little glass of like wine or my cup of matcha. Something just like super fun, but also cozy, okay? Also, if you're hearing those birds and um, outside noises, this is what you're hearing. Tom. Hi. So what happened with my cat is that he tore his ACL and yeah, he's just basically bedridden and he's not allowed to be getting up, roaming around. He's not allowed to be jumping around or playing. So that's why he's in that little stroller because I got him a stroller and I was like, you have to stay in there. But anyways, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I'm in jeans right now. So no, absolutely not. I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and change into something cozy, probably some pajama pants and then we will get started. We are ready to get started. I have the TV on. I have Tom here next to me, chilling in his little carrier. Although I know he's gonna start bugging me in a little bit. The sun's coming in a little strong right now. It'll go away in a few minutes. I have my awkward looking glass of matcha here. Mm. Okay, okay, not bad. But let's go ahead and get started because these crusty nails will be no longer crusty okay so these are what my nails look like right now as you can see absolutely barely have a shape to them they're a little crusty looking whatnot it's time to fix them up okay first thing i'm gonna do is take off this layer of nail strengthener that i have on my nails this will also help because it'll help to prep the nail for what i'm about to do which is more nail prep for builder gel so first what i like to do is go in with builder gel in my nails or on top of my nails because i have pretty thin nails that tend to break really easily so the builder gel will help to keep them from breaking okay so first First, prep the nails and then we're gonna go in with builder gel. First is we're gonna file them and buff them down a little bit because as you can see, I've got some rough edges on them. So we're gonna do that first. Then we're gonna clean out the cuticles, okay? Make sure that there are no, there's no dead skin on these nails. And then we are gonna shape them and then we should be ready for builder gel. Okay, so my biggest problem with builder gel or anything that's like strengthening for your nails is that as much as I like want for them to be strengthening for my nails, they are for a little bit. And then what I end up doing is ripping them out or ripping them off my nails. Like the builder gel, I always end up just like peeling it off my nails, which defeats the purpose because I make them weak. So that is my problem with SNS powder because again, what I end up doing is I just end up chipping it all off and the SNS powder really damages my nails. Like, well, the chipping part does. And I just end up with really like brittle, natural nails, but super brittle that need SNS and builder gel. Otherwise they'll break. So that is why my nails look, especially this one, as you can see, just looks super damaged right now that is why it's because i always end up chipping and peeling them off we're gonna go in with some cuticle remover now to clean the cuticles i'm gonna use my cuticle tools now and um push down my cuticles make sure i'm kind of scraping off all that dead skin the prep really does take a really long time and that is because i like to make sure that the prep is like really well done because it is one of the most important parts of doing your nails if you don't do the prep good what ends up happening is your nails don't last as long and really you're just wasting your time and you're gonna have to redo your nails or you're gonna do what i do and that is peel at the build gel or pick off the sns powder you don't want to do that trust me 
All right, now we are going to trim the cuticles with a little cuticle clipper. Make sure you're not getting too close to the skin. Otherwise, you will just end up nicking your whole skin and you will bleed. Now, we are going to file down our nails a little bit because they are a little out of shape. Also, they're totally uneven because I have like two short nails now. We're just going to pretend they don't exist because if you let that slow you down and you don't do your nails because you broke like two other ones, you will never have your nails done because they will always keep breaking. That is what I've learned in my experience. I remember when I used to do my nails like back in the day and I have like videos and pictures of when I used to do my nails like when I first started. You guys, they are so bad. Like they were so bad. I'm gonna enter a picture here of like when I first did SNS powder and I thought they looked so good. Like I thought my nails were literally slaying. They look terrible. That's just to show you everything comes with a learning curve. If doing your nails, if you feel like you just cannot get it right, I couldn't get it right either. I could not get it right either. Like it definitely takes some time to learn to get your nails right. But once you learn, it's so rewarding because every time I do my nails, it's a nice little pleasant experience. And on top of that, I save myself a few literally like hundred dollars a month. So that is great. That is the type of person I am. And I realize that that is an annoying type of person to be because then you end up doing things that you probably shouldn't be doing yourself at home like the other day i posted a video of me like laminating my brows or like my baby hairs at home and people were like please go to a professional da -da -da. and i'm like no <laughs> No, I will not go to a professional because the professionals charge me a lot. I know if I if I have to do it with the professional, for example, like dyeing my hair, that's something that I'd rather just do with the professional because like I do not want to risk literally just like making my hair fall off, which this is gonna like take me into another hole, but did you guys see like that one TikToker, the hairstylist TikToker? His name is alfredo and he did um this girl's hair her name is taylor and she looks a lot like kylie jenner so she did her he did her hair because her hair had been like messed up or something and she really wanted like long extensions and when he brought her in he basically just like messed it up even more and like everyone on tiktok was like fighting and arguing about it because they were like taylor's so ungrateful like he did her hair for free but then everyone was like but that's not what she asked for it was just like i literally fell so deep into that hole i was watching those tiktoks for like an hour an hour it was like drama nails are kind of roughly shaped okay we're gonna go in with our little nail primer now this stuff is basically adhesive okay this stuff is really gonna make sure that all the builder gel that you apply all the gel really sticks to your nails and doesn't start like chipping off which Let's be honest. I'm gonna end up peeling it off anyways. <laughs> I'm watching the episode of New Girl right now. Like, or not the episode, but one of those like Thanksgiving episodes. And it always makes me like wish it was already like the holidays. Even though the holidays literally just passed. Like it is March. Like I need to calm down. I know I do. But I'm like, I love the holidays. It's just such a like happy time. <laughs> doing one nail of builder gel this is what it looks like okay this is my thumb it's a little bit you see how it's like a little bit thicker this is why the builder gel helps because it adds like an extra layer of protection so then that way it's not just my bare nails you know getting hit every time and always breaking and cracking so that's why i do builder gel but as you can see this only this nail took like five minutes which is about 30 minutes each hand an hour Okay, this is gonna take an hour. So I will be back once all the nails are done. Okay, so I ended up switching to Grey's. I don't know why. Like, I was enjoying New Girl, but I love Grey's. I have watched Grey's. Grey's Anatomy. Like, this will probably be like my fifth time rewatching it. I just made my fiance start rewatching it. I'm like, this is the greatest show ever. Okay, it's not the greatest show ever, but it's such a good show. I will say, it starts to get bad. We all know that. I mean, if you were in your Grey's Anatomy kick, you, you, you know why you stopped watching. Like, it just started getting bad or like repetitive or like, they just started killing off so many characters that I was like, I can't do this. I can't do this. But rewatching it, I'm like, it is always like my favorite thing. 
anything ever. Especially the pilot. I don't know why I love the pilot. It just like hooked me. Maturing is realizing that Derek is not McDreamy. Like I literally used to love Derek when I was younger. And now I'm like, why did I love him? He was like the worst. He was cheating on his wife. Granted, she cheated on him first, but still. But she, he didn't tell Meredith. It's just like, what is going on with Derek Shepard? I'm on nail number four. Let's finish this quicker. Okay, I just finished doing both of my nails. This is what they look like. Again, some of them aren't even, we're just gonna ignore that. We're just gonna pretend they're all the same length. Now it's just the easy part, which is just applying the gel polish. But first I have to eat because I get hungry. Okay, my fiance cooked. Shout out my fiance. Made some rice. I made the beans um, a few days ago and then he cooked some ground turkey. So I'm gonna eat and recharge before I go into the second half. This is what I call the second half of doing my nails because I'm gonna start to get hungry. So I'm gonna eat and then we will come back and finish these nails done eating and we are in our final stretch of doing our nails and for the color okay i was thinking why not go green yeah we're gonna do green because i actually haven't done green nails in a while i have three different green polishes here i am using le mini macaron today so these are the three greens that i have i have this kind of like jade like darker green and then i have this really bright like neon just like green green and then i have this like i'm gonna say this is more of like a lime green even though the color says it's matcha latte and listen i tried out those opi like bubble bath ba love is in the bear i tried out all all of those like very neutral colors and while they are pretty on the nails i'm just like guys why don't you, why don't we all just expand and try different fun colors? So I'm going to do a green color today for sure. I think I'm going to go for this smoky matcha color because, well, that's the name of the shade, smoky matcha. I love, I love the green, the darker green look. Every time I'm doing my nails, I just get reminded of how when I was younger, my mom would literally never let me paint my nails. Like she told me I was not allowed to paint my nails like a dark, any dark color like this. This green would be way too dark. I remember one time I, like when painting your nails black was like really trendy. I was a teenager, okay? She would not let me and one time I did it without her permission. She got so mad. She got so mad, she made me take them off, obviously. It's just so funny how we all just grow up so differently because I remember my friends would have like bright red nails or like black nails. I was not allowed, I was not allowed to do that. And it's just like so weird. I also was not allowed to wear makeup, which is so funny because now like makeup is what I love and basically what I do, but I was not allowed. Like not even like, not even like just mascara, nope. Nothing, nothing until I turn 15. So this is what one coat looks like. Don't we just love this like olive green look? I know it's not very like summery or bright. This is more like a fall tone color, but I still, I just love it, okay? That is what one coat looks like. Now, listen, I love these gel polishes because they're so easy to use and they're one of the few gel polishes that are actually accessible. Like if you go to Target, these are the only ones that you'll find. I don't know why other gel companies make it so difficult for you to be able to buy their gel polishes, but it's practically impossible to buy their gel polishes. I do love Le Mini Macaron, but because they are so accessible and, you know, cheap, they're not the highest quality. Like, if you can get gel polishes from Target, I mean, from Amazon, then I definitely recommend you do because they have way higher quality ones. The only reason I'm using this one is because this color specifically that I wanted. I can't find like a replica of this in any gel polish forms. So if anybody knows of this color in gel um, that I can get from Amazon, please let me know because I actually love this color. It reminds me of like jade and I love the color of jade on the nails, especially I love the jewelry, but the color on the nails so pretty i'm like i just cannot find any of the any other gel companies selling a color like this so if you happen to know let me know okay the great thing about this gel polish by le mini macaron is that look at that no top coat necessary as soon as they dry they're just ready to go and they've got this like gorgeous shine to them they're so pretty like i honestly i feel like these are one of the best like like I said, accessible and cheap gel polishes that I've ever seen. It might be more bang for your buck on Amazon because you can get way more colors. And again, they're just easier to work with. I think this is the color up close. Look at the pinky, no! I considered like putting on an extension on my pinky, but I was like, 
That's a lot of work. That is a lot of work. So we're just gonna go ahead and finish this side, which the pinky is again, same, needs an extension, but we're not gonna do that. So let's go ahead and finish this. Again, really easy to work with these. You just apply one coat, cure for 30 seconds. The second coat, cure for 60 seconds. That's it, that's literally it. And the kits come with a little mini lamp. The kits come with the lamp like about this size. So you do have to cure it one by one, which means it is gonna take longer with this little lamp. So if you go on Amazon, you can buy a full like LED, like a full hand lamp. Can't, I, I love these. I love the mini macaron, honestly. Oh, I love rewarding myself after sitting here and doing my nails for like three hours with a glass of wine. That's what I love to do, okay? Reward yourself after doing your nails. You just saved yourself more than $100. Well, depending on where you go, right? Like, look at these nails. Beautiful, just classic jade like what i say like emerald green or olive green and i love them they're my favorite right now okay anyways you guys that was my little afternoon slash nighttime doing my at home nails i hope you guys enjoyed this little video i know it was kind of all over the place it's really hard to film an at home nail day from on like on my phone and it's way harder to film it for youtube but i can film a totally different video showing you step by step how it is that i do my at home nails but i hope you guys enjoyed this little video this little this little peek into my at home nail routine because like you saw it was pretty extensive and it's pretty long you even have to take like an eating break in between it is so worth it because now i have salon nails from home that i got for free so if you like this video make sure you subscribe and make sure you like it and leave me a little comment and i will see you guys in the next video